We live. We are live. <laughs> yeah. We are live out. Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Welcome to Podcast 19 of the Basement Radio Arcade Podcast. And I am once again joined tonight by a great uh, panel tonight. I have a couple um, special guests, and as always, my returning co host, Eric Jackson. And uh, first and foremost, I want to introduce everyone, um, all our viewers, to um, who's with us tonight. And um, I want to go ahead and introduce. You know what, man? I can't stop staring at this cat. <laughs> he's look, look at his eyes. Like he's like his eyes are like he's like feed me. <laughs> Lifeless, right, right into your soul. Yeah, he's staring uh, into my soul. He's like yeah. he's serious. Like mm. <clears throat> I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. <laughs> I love his scarf. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, he he almost looks like he's cosplaying the division a little bit. You know, the division can pick up <laughs> scarves. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we have Al, aka Drunk Cat. <laughs> yeah. From the Holocaust, from Gaff. Uh, been around for a little bit, and uh, just jumped over to the SDGC Super Deformed Gamecast, um, just as a, a helper. But now I'm their backup, I guess. Uh, guest, if uh, someone's absent, and I'm their chat moderator. This is like my second. Time on the air, so if I stutter a lot and make cat noises, blame Enrique. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, not, I don't know about blaming me for making you make cat noises. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just I'm an old I'm an older gamer, uh, and uh, I've just been gaming for, for almost 30 years, I guess. Oh, dude, you're so, you're like us, man. Except for maybe yeah. Ken. I think Ken's been gaming. Ken's 15, so I think he's been gaming for about five years. Ken, I'm just, I'm just messing with you, Ken. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so you 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 remember the uh, wood the days of the wood panel uh, game consoles then? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, Eric and I like to reminisce about the wood panel game consoles. They're kind of oh, sexy. No, yeah, like the Odyssey, the 2600. Uh, yeah, 2600, baby. <laughs> what do you yeah, say, kid? Man. No, I, I was just like, yeah. I mean, I had like, fun, eh. but I, I'm, I, I got to not go back there. I'm just like, eh. No, nah, it's, just, it's just funny. When you look at them, it's like, wow, man, look how far we've come. Hey, Ken, let me okay. tell you something, man. That shit's coming back, man. Wood paneling. You mark mark my word. What? Wood paneling's coming back, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I hope not. <laughs> it, it won't go with anything in a modern... With, no, right? In modern living rooms. It'll just be like... I don't know. It would just be very out of place. I, I like the cyclical. You know, I like the sleep boxes that we have now. There or wedges, of like the PS4 and even the Xbox One. Even though it's big, like I like that uh, industrial look. You know, it's functional. It's people uh, rip on it a lot, but I think it's all right. No, I, I feel like the Xbox is a, good, is a good representation of America. You know, it's like, you know, it's big. It, it's it's like, you know, brawn. It, re, it, it represents strength. You know what I mean? <laughs> you guys know what I mean? You know, I'm not talking about private parts. You know, I'm talking about, you know, America. You know, like how... America. Yeah. You know, it's like... Well, you know, like they make big things. <laughs> Working man console. Like, there you go. Graphics. Worker man's console, you know? <laughs> yeah. They had to keep it cool, so they had to make it, you know, kind of big. They yeah, they were not. Out. Yeah, they weren't going to risk that that <laughs> happening again, man. Oh hell no! They're like, we're putting a freezer in there and a couple fans. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want a red ring again. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, Al, thanks for joining us, man. Uh, oh, yeah, I definitely I appreciate, appreciate you coming on board. Hey, and I really like what you guys are doing. And to all our viewers who are watching, uh, I did actually. Um, post a link to the Super Deformed Gamescast, uh, which you guys broadcast every Thursday night at 8 p.m. So uh, if you want to hear a good group of guys shooting the shit, just talking about games, uh, no fanboy shit, definitely check them out. Uh, we've had um, John, Mr. Megative, uh, on here the uh, last two weeks, actually, as a special co-host or guest. And so um, definitely check those guys out. So uh, our next co-host, returning co-host, is uh, I you know Ken? I got I like Digital Falcon, man. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> Digital Falcon. So we have Digital Falcon, uh, who is a writer over at EXL Gaming. Ken, welcome back to the podcast, man. Glad you could join us again tonight. Uh, thank you for having me again. Absolutely, man. My pleasure. And without further ado, um, 
Uh-oh. What's up? Everything good? You guys hear me? Yep. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Fine. Uh, hold on. Something's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? All of a sudden, Virginia visit VirginiaBeach.com started playing in my headset. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. <laughs> I'm not even making this shit up. I thought like somebody was trolling me. <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was Ken hacking me or something. Nah, no. <laughs> I, don't <know> <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, we have Eric Jackson, returning co host with EXL Gaming. I should say senior writer with EXL Gaming. Eric man, how are you doing tonight? I'm hanging in there, doing good. Happy to be here. Dude, I know you're enjoying that weather, and 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 I was gonna say South Beach, but you don't. You're not in South Beach, Southern close Florida. Enough, close enough. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely warm, but true to Florida. Today there was like tornado warnings, and the oh, sky shit. just turned. It was sunny this morning, and then there were like funnel clouds everywhere by this afternoon. So oh, yeah, man. So I drove home in a monsoon. Dude, that's <laughs> but, that's well, that's Florida, man. That's South Florida. Yeah, and then the sun came out again. So. Yep, and then everyone goes back out. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> that's too funny. Yeah, all right, gentlemen. So let's talk about some games. Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, gaming news, and you know, I'm I'm actually you know we're getting close to E3. I'm I'm starting to wonder if as we get closer to E3, if we're going to have a lot of stuff to talk about <laughs> as uh, you know developers and you know the the big three start keeping things a little bit closer to their chest in terms of any big announcements, but. Um, real quick, guys, I want to uh, kind of run down um, the list here and, and see what you guys are playing. Uh, why don't you go ahead and let us know what you're playing right now in terms of games, man. Uh, I've just been playing a lot of Dark Souls 3, um, some Salt and Sanctuary, and I just started uh, Metroid Prime, the trilogy, all over again on my, on my PC. <laughs> mm, nice. I, I, made, I made my own ISO before everyone gets freaked out. <laughs> I actually researched <laughs> how to do this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's my first time really, you know, going all out, and it's actually pretty insane. Playing Metroid with a mouse is ridiculous. Yeah, that's got to be pretty crazy. <laughs> it's I awesome. Can, yeah. <laughs> wow. Little, little point-and-click shoot. Yeah. Nice. I mean, it plays like a first-person uh, FPS, basically, you know? I guess uh, that, but, yeah, that would work well, right? Because yeah. the, the Wii the implemented Wii controls for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can... You can use a, a wireless uh, sensor bar and connect it to an actual Wiimote, but mm-hmm. I ain't got time for that. So I just, <laughs> I just, you know, I looked up how to do it with a keyboard and mouse, and it works right. fantastic. Nice. Yeah, uh, digital. Oh, I was gonna call you Digital Falcon. I mean Ken. Ken. <laughs> <laughs> call me Ken if, if, if it's easier. I mean, I don't mind. It's, I don't mind what you, if you call me Digital Falcon. It's cool. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> What have I been playing? Um, a little bit of Rocket League, um, a lot of Division. Oh yeah. I am rank thirty and rank forty-four in the Dark Zone. I'm trying to get to fifty because I'm trying to get this this sniper rifle, which has a, a RPM of four hundred and fifty. So I really Jesus. I really need that. And I've been playing Street Fighter Five. So. Uh, pretty much all day today and yesterday I was playing Street Fighter mm. Five. That update came and the eight eight player lobbies are there, challenge mode is there, and I'm pretty happy. Nice cool. man, that's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Eric, what about you, man? Uh, let's see. Um, I'm playing a little Arkham Knight and still rocking on Gravity Rush over on PS4. Oh. Such a good game. Such a good yeah, game. Yeah, man, I'm loving nice. Gravity Rush. Really loving it. Um, rocking Division still on Xbox One. Slowly, <laughs> you know, I'm not like. I think I just hit like level 16, but nice. Yeah, you no, know, you have a little one, you get, you get it in when you can. Oh, exactly. I, I, heard, I heard that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And think, um, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say we're all in the same boat. I think except minus <laughs> uh, minus uh, Ken. Yeah, <laughs> but um, still rocking. Uh, I don't know. Um, when I saw the games with goal announcements, I got inspired to rock some more Sunset Overdrive. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So, and then uh, still playing Devil's Third on Wii U. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. <laughs> How do you nice. like that? It's, dude, you know what it is? It's not as bad as some of the reviews made it out to be. It's by no means a great perfect game because I guess it's dealing with some hardware issues. But it, it's a weird 
it's a weird game in the fact that you ever watch like a TV show or like a weird comedy and they're playing like some random game on a TV that was made up for that show. <laughs> you're like you're like what world is this? You're like it is a, a playable world. like made for sci-fi video game. Exactly. But it really <laughs> feels it feels like a throwback to like early 360, early PS3 oh, games. Yeah. Yeah. And that's kind of like a nostalgic type thing. Like the same way you'd watch an old movie, you know. It's almost like they intended to do that. I don't know. But yeah. I'm enjoying it. You know, it's just straight up stupid fun. So, yeah, and then other than that, I'm playing... Um, now, that's the... Uh, that's the um, uh, What's his name? I always forget his name. I always remember him. Itagaki? Itagaki, Itagaki yeah. yes. Yeah, I always remember him with the funny face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wild it's crazy, yeah. Yes. His yeah. crazy outfits. <laughs> yeah, his crazy outfits, his big personality. Oh, yeah. I, I told my friend I would love I would love to have like a director's commentary with this game to see what he was thinking. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so fantastic. Yeah. It's so far away from like Ninja Gaiden. You yeah. know, you're I mean, you're like a Russian mercenary with like Japanese tattoos who plays drums and it's just <laughs> it makes no sense. Yeah. It's just crazy. But, a cool thing, you know, a cool mechanic I liked in that. Well, as soon as you pop into cover, he busts out a cigarette like exactly, two yeah. seconds. That's so badass. I mean, it's so yeah. cheap, but it's just a cool mechanic. I like that stuff. Yeah, I thought that was I thought that was pretty cool too. Or he or he like chugs like a power drink yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. like power he pops drink. out a flask. Yeah. But so it, yeah, it's like it's just mindless fun. You like it's just one of those games you can kind of zone out to. It's not overly difficult. You know, it's just a weird mechanic. I would love to know what he what he was thinking when he made this game. So, oh, yeah. and then other than that, playing. Uh, Fire Emblem on 3DS, the new one, uh, Birthright, and nice. Earthbound. And I just started playing Earthbound. Nice, nice. nice. All right. Yeah. You know, speaking of uh, Itagaki, I'd, I'd love to see another Ninja Gaiden with him. Oh, and I'd like a reunion with him and Team Ninja. I'd, I'd love to see it. That I just remember Gaiden on um, the, the original Xbox, and that game was just awesome. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, um, so I'm playing The Division still. Um, when I can, uh, like like uh, you, Al and Eric, um, I can when when the kids allow me to. <laughs> and so I'm only level 19 right now, but that's all right, man. I'm 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 getting up there. I'm I'm slowly grinding it out. Um, and I was playing actually uh, Broforce uh, this past weekend, uh, which is which is okay. I I can't say I'm having a whole lot of fun with it. It's a little over the top, <laughs> you know, with yeah. like the character with all the bro names. <laughs> That game, looks, that game looks hilarious. I didn't get a chance to um, play it yet, but I downloaded it. I'll, I'll get to it soon. But it looks fun. It looks. I gotta, gotta get on it. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, you know those old. It's kind of like an old. Uh, you know, it's kind of a nod to the to the uh, '80s action characters like um, Rambo and uh, Bruce Willis's character in uh, Die Hard. Yeah. Um, you know, and the action's kind of over the top, <laughs> but it's. I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, I. You know, I, I'm I'm still trying to f I, I, I'm feeling it out still. You know, I'm yeah. kind of in the dating process with it. You know, I'm at oh, the yeah. dinner table right now. I've ordered drinks, but I'm still not sure yet if I'm gonna stick around for dessert. So, yeah, <laughs> no, I like it, man. All the little characters that you open, like they have, like Blade is in there, like or the version of Blade. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, gentlemen, we have a lot of uh, you know shit to talk about uh, regards to gaming news, and um, let's hop into the first. Let's let's jump into the first topic here. Um, and I don't know if uh, you guys read today, but uh, looks like we got some more information on the next Call of Duty game. But let me ask you guys something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. So, sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay, out because I you probably you know agree with me, and so. So this year's Call of Duty apparently is going to be set in space, um, and you know that we Call of Duty goes had it had an opening in uh, you know opening uh, mission in space. Um, you know we Black Ops Three is you know taking place in the past and in the future, but um, you know this is um, you know this is a different direction um, for anything outside of. <laughs> uh, Black Ops Three, and I don't know. Like I just, I feel like that at this point they're maybe running out of ideas. I feel the same way. You know, it's like okay, it's like it's like I almost want to. I wish I was like a fly on the wall in that board meeting where they're sitting <laughs> down, like Treyarch sitting down, or whoever's making this. Is it Infinity. is it Infinity War? It's, I'm it's sorry, Infinity, it's Infinity Ward. Ward. So Infinity Ward's oh, thinking is like, it, is it Infinity Ward or is it Sledgehammer? 
I think it's Infinity War that's doing it this time. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me double check because I want. Yeah, it's Infinity Ward. Okay, uh, so it's Infinity Ward, right? Yeah, fuck those guys. <laughs> so, um. Treyarch is the one that everybody, like, hangs their hat on, right? Um, I think so. I think Treyarch and. I thought Infinity Ward, too. See, I, there's been there's been so many Call of Duties. I've even. And they got, like, fucking, like, five developers working on yeah. Call of Duty now. For what it's worth, Treyarch games are usually better. Usually. Mm. Yeah. For what it's worth. <laughs> it used to be Infinity War be- before, uh, what you call it, left. Um, those two guys. Uh, yeah, the two directors. Oh, yeah, the two Zem- directors, Zempella yeah. and West. Yeah. Zempella and West, yeah. Yeah, yeah. West. Mm-hmm. yeah but, um, so, you know, I read this today, guys, and I'm thinking to myself, like, oh, boy, I just feel like they're running out of ideas, and, you know, I Call of Duty, the best Call of Duty experiences for me have been uh, the Modern Warfare series, like, the uh, and 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 Ghost was okay. The first Black Ops wasn't too bad, but I just feel like and 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 look, the sales numbers disagree with what I'm about to say, but I feel like it's it's lost interest. The game has lost interest for me, but the game's still selling like freaking hotcakes. I mean, if you look at look at the Black Ops Three bundle right now for the Sony PlayStation, it's it's still freaking charting on Amazon right now, which is amazing. And the game's still like a top selling uh, game on MPD. So I guess obviously there's this demand for it, but I just can't figure out why there's a demand for it. <laughs> um, because it's easy to play. You can just anybody can just pick up and play Call of Duty. It's mm-hmm. accessible to a lot of people, and I think that's why it's so popular year in yeah. year out. You know, as much as people hate on it, people play it. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's one of those games that people almost kind of like 2K, you know, basketball, Madden. You know, Call of Duty. Not putting them in the same, you know, categories, but I think some gamers like that's the one that they get, and they they'll rock out with that, you know, in their spare time. That one game, yeah, for a good portion of the year. You know, that's what they look forward to. So, so Eric, so Eric you're kind of you're kind of equating them to like the the mad and the first person shooters, basically. Well, only for the fact that they keep the same <laughs> kind of schedule, yeah. but not necessarily quality, because I think Madden is straight up shit. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I think I think they need someone to challenge them, and at least you know COD has you know competition in a way. I mean, they're still the biggest seller, but at least they have other shooters to kind of contend with, you know. Um, but I'm just saying, as far as keeping like a, a yearly schedule and having that that fan base that is ready, you know. But by, by the way, Al just uh, in, the, in the live chat just said medieval Call of Duty I d- or die happy, unhappy. <laughs> 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 they they can do it and get away with it. I mean, they should be able to have. I think they should just, you know, I, I mean, I don't mind that they're going out of space, honestly. I want them to have fun with the series, and I guess they can parody them, parody themselves at this point, you know, <laughs> and, pe- and people will still buy it, you know. Well, that was my thing. Let me ask you guys. Do you guys feel like this is kind of a parody now, where they're kind of parodying themselves? Like, I I think they're trying to get ahead of uh, Titanfall 2. By or, taking it to like you know, <laughs> like sci-fi type you know proportions, or possibly the next Battle Fi- Battlefield Five, which we'll we'll talk about in a little bit. Mm. Yeah. So and I say um, get crazy, man. Do something like Blood Dragon. Let's just get yeah, nuts. They, they get can, nuts. Yeah. <laughs> they can definitely do that. I want to see that from them. You know. Um, yeah, I'm with you. <clears throat> I'd like to see like an '80s style. You know. Oh, like a Miami Vice type. Yeah, like, Miami Vice. Or, or, or Miami Vice called Die Hard. You know, like Yo, original Die yeah, Hard, yeah. something crazy. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Why, yeah, <laughs> like, why not? Like, why not? Like, you know, that might pull me back into it. Well, isn't that what Bro Force basically is? <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, Hotline Miami's got that whole Miami Vice. Oh, um, yeah, that man. That crazy music and that. Oh, I love Let that. Let me tell Hotline. you something. Let me... I love that game too, man. Mm hmm. Let me tell you something. Vice City was one of my favorite GTA games. Mm. I loved it. It reminded me of Miami Vice and Scarface and all those yeah. all those movies. But yeah. so Al, so what do you, what are your you you kind of chuckled when we, we brought up Call of Duty, man? What what are your thoughts on this? Uh, I honestly haven't really been a fan since Modern Warfare Two. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. it, it takes mm-hmm. a lot to go from the creative team that they had. To whatever the hell Modern Warfare 3 was and Black Ops, it just did not. 
I just didn't like it. Uh, pardon my daughter; she's having a meltdown in the background. <laughs> yeah, because we're um, talking because we're talking about Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah, um, but uh, you know, I did like Black Ops Three. I did, as far as the multiplayer side goes. Single player was a complete disaster. Disaster. Uh, Zombies was kind of a disaster, but multiplayer. That's where that's where I played. I played multiplayer, and you know, I liked it. But that's that's all I have to say about Call of Duty. I was thinking that they would branch out more than just space. It seems like they're trying to go after what they did, the intro of Ghosts, which was so unlike the rest of the entire game, it sort of sticks out like a sore thumb if you think about an entire game that's like yeah, that. Good. Or are they going to be more like Destiny, where they actually have gravity on these planets, even though they're in space? I don't understand. Planets? Oh, man. <laughs> that's... Oh, man. <laughs> Call of Duty on Mars. Um, but I, I, I want to talk about recall. Oh, yep. Go ahead, Ken, I'm sorry. Sorry. Hey, no, guys, I was go gonna ahead. say Modern Warfare Two was the best Call of Duty to me. I agree. I, I agree. I agree with that. And yeah. A lot of people hate that. Said, "Oh, it was unbalanced." That's why I loved it. It was just so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it Kids like I like it balanced. <laughs> oh, the, the multiplayer maps in that were just fantastic. Oh, they were. They were awesome. I think Crash, right? The uh, helicopter crash. Uh, Crash, Crash was, was, that, was that COD 4? Was that I don't remember. COD 4? Crash was COD 4. But I love uh, Crash 2. Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 were the only Call of Duties I really liked. Black Ops 1 was alright, but uh, I didn't like uh, much else. Like, the last Call of Duty I bought was Black Ops 2. And I had it for like <laughs> three days and got rid of it. I just... Oh, damn. That turnaround. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I'm yeah. not a big Call of Duty guy now. <laughs> Yeah, real quick, uh, guys, I just want to give a shout-outs to everyone in the live chat. Welcome to uh, Basement Radio Arcade. We have a lot of uh, returning, um, I don't even know what to call them, I guess viewers in the live yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but, yeah, I uh, want to give those folks a shout-out. They're having a lot of uh, great conversation. Uh, and actually, what? Jeff Bartram just said, love my stream. Whoa. <laughs> I don't. I'm trying to figure out what it has to do with Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious! But yeah, big shout out to everyone in the live chat. So, but uh, yeah, that was Call of Duty Two is my my favorite one of all of them, and I liked I liked the first Black Ops. I got down with that. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, Nuketown was probably my favorite multiplayer map in that game. I used to play that shit for hours. <laughs> I did play through the campaign on Modern War. Not, um, I'm sorry, not uh, Modern Warfighter, or is that, is that the name of it? Advanced Warfighter. Advanced, Advanced Warfighter. Warfighter. Sorry, I, I get Kevin all the Spacey, titles turned around. Kevin Spacey, the the movie. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Spacey, I, I, yeah. I played through the campaign on that one, but I didn't do too much on the multiplayer part of it. Yeah, I you know I yeah, I wasn't yeah I didn't play it. I, don't, I just <laughs> didn't care. I felt like they, they were just pimping out Kevin Spacey. Yeah. You know. Well, he was riding on, you know, riding high on the whole, uh, what's the Netflix show he's on? Oh, uh, House of Cards. House, House of Cards. Well, well, I mean, that was his character, basically, in, yeah. that, game, in that game. Yeah. Frank Underwood. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. I love that show, by the way. Fucking money show. <laughs> yeah. It's it's crazy. Netflix is giving HBO a run for their money. Definitely. You know? Daredevil was like Daredevil's awesome. Oh, Daredevil's amazing. Yeah. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yeah. No, was... they're they're crushing it, man, for real. TV is crushing it right now. Just in general. <laughs> Just in Even general, movies, you know? movies uh, the movies coming out or she it's gonna <laughs> be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um speaking of uh shooters guys, there's another um potential leak, uh Battlefield five uh, there was this um, article that came out yesterday. Uh, actually, I shouldn't say a article. There were several articles out. And did you guys report on this, um, Eric, at EXL? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. So basically, um, there's some speculation. There's some pictures that were released on GAF. Uh, Al, did you see this? Did you see the pictures that were released on GAF? Yeah. This yeah. is actually from a thread from a month ago. It oh, was, is it? Uh, yeah, and then it disappeared, and then it sort of made its way back for whatever reason yesterday. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so basically, um, some people are the, – the rumor is that this is going to be a game that's possibly set in the future. 
Uh, wait, <laughs> Battlefield Five? Well, yeah, that's that's well, I've heard two rumors. Okay. World, World War One, and then damn, and then set in the or set in the future. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm still trying to get my head around how you do a mod, like a, a World War One. Um, that's, that's a lot of trench warfare, man. Yeah. You know, I really and... do not want to see a World War One battle. <laughs> I'm sorry, those weapons are just Dude, they're no, not you're interesting right. to me. They're running out of ideas. That's the thing. Like, how many? You know, you have to go to the future. You know, what are you, what are you gonna do? I mean, Yo, I mean there's always a, a bunch of ideas. Yeah, there's always a chance that it actually is World War Two. I mean, Eastern Front as like. The subtitle for the actual thing connotates like it could be like uh, Battle of the Bulge stuff that happened later in World War II. If you guys yeah. know like Eastern Europe stuff. Yeah. I mean, it could be that. And I am all about another battlefield set in World War II. I am all about a shooter based in World War II. It's been far too long. <laughs> yeah. I say we bring him back. <laughs> yeah, and you know what, Al? There, there, there's a lot of um, there, there's a lot that sentiment is shared. Um, you know, throughout um, the gaming community, I've I've yeah. seen and, and read and heard a lot of people share that same sentiment of, hey, you know what? It's been uh, a long time since we've had uh, a good World War II, World War One game. Yeah. Why don't we go back? Um, yeah. You know, everything's kind of been, uh, you know, things that are happening now and then the future. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. so um, and it's not just Call of Duty. I mean, Battlefield's been doing the same thing. It's you know, they they take these. Um, they take these events that are these current events, almost things that are happening now, and they, and they kind of tie them into their game. But I mean, how how many times can you do that before you start running out of ideas? Yeah, you know? Exactly. Yeah. They're gonna you know. keep doing that as long as the money comes in. I mean, yeah. it brings in brings That's in money. That's true. So. Yeah, if you look at like how different Battlefield Three was or Four was from Three, it's like mm-hmm. not even really different. Just different maps. I mean, the same weapons are there, same attachments are there. Yeah. Uh, I give yeah. I give credit to Dice though, man. They do make beautiful games, and they do run pretty pretty well when the, after a month or so. You yeah. mean when the servers are finally squared away? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, yeah. So so um so there's a bunch of pictures posted on uh, Gaff um, that show what looks like um uh, invitations to the uh, unveil June twelfth. Apparently, it's supposed to happen. Yeah, EA's a uh, little let's copy Bethesda thing, right? Exactly, and it looks like there's um, there's a a paper that was ta- there was a paper that was posted <laughs> with someone's notes, um, some bullet points of uh, Battlefield. This is Battlefield Five Eastern Front, and um, you know it says fight off the Russian invasion by by joining your European allies and visit the, and visit the most beautiful East East European cities like. I, I'm not going to try to pronounce these, um, but you know what? It's I'm looking at these like supposedly leaked documents or pictures. My, I think this is all fake. I mean, anybody can do this and and just say, oh look, this is you know this is these are leaked documents. You know, anyone can kind of put this together. Hey man, uh, one guy made a fake NX controller and got more press for Nintendo than Nintendo did in the last ten years. That's true. He did. <laughs> he did. He did. Yeah. Nintendo. And he he was that was like the ultimate like troll post to like oh, post absolutely. something like that. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, really can't guys, believe anything. No, you can't. You can't. I always say you can't believe everything you see on the internet these days. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Some people do. Truth. Some people do. <laughs> you know. Well, Eric, uh, to your point, I mean, when that uh, that leak came out of the supposed NX controller. People were like, "Oh, that controller sucks. Nintendo sucks." Yeah, twice. <laughs> hey yeah. man, it's only it's only Tuesday. We still have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for another one to come out for people to melt down again. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. but it's true. I mean, to your point, like people see shit like this and they're like, and they run with it. I mean, this Battlefield Five thing's getting coverage. I mean, it's mm-hmm. it's yeah, not just it's, yeah. I mean, this is something that's steam now. yeah. And these pictures are floating around the internet. I'm looking. I'm like, this shit's not real. <laughs> you know, now, look, we all know Battlefield Five's coming out. That's that's happening. We know that. Yeah. Um. You know, June twelfth sounds like that could be you know a, a real date. Um. Of that we course, we get some announcement. Yeah. E three. I mean, yeah. It's. Yeah. yeah. What was the theme of what Battlefield 
four? Was that the one with the, like the police chases and all that stuff? That was hard. That was hardline. It was hardline. <laughs> hardline. And it was, you said it was horrible. Hardline uh, was horrible line. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you didn't hear a lot of people talking about it. Last good one to me was three. <laughs> I mm-hmm. I didn't like four. Hardline. I was in the beta and. Like when it comes to these FPS games, I'm just like, I'm very burnt out on them. I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think Wolfenstein was the one that kind of because it had like a nice story to it. You know, it was like, oh, yeah. but Mach- yeah, machine but, games is fantastic though. Yeah, I know, wouldn't even so. put them in the same conversation as. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Or Infinity it, Ward. <laughs> yeah, but as but as far as like you know the competitive shooter part, yeah. You know, oh, I just want like a nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just want like a nice story. Let's roll, you know. So. Yeah, you know what, guys? Uh, as we're kind of like on the topic of first-person shooters, um, one of my favorite first-person shooters, at least opening scenes, was there was a Medal of Honor game that was came out, came out around the time of Saving Private Ryan. The original Medal of Honor. Was it? Was that the one where you're storming the beach? Mm-hmm. Uh. Was that Allied Assault? I don't remember. I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't yeah. play those. <clears throat> the yeah. one you stormed the beach for the PS2, well, that came out later because that would be like in the 2000s. Same Private Ryan was 1998. Okay. That was that was Medal of Honor on the regular PlayStation, and there wasn't a beach scene in that. Okay, but I yeah, so I don't I don't know which Medal of Honor it was, but I remember there was a beach scene where you're you know you're on the um, where the I forget what. The, the, what, what they called the boats back then, but you're on that boat that transport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And one a guy, a guy's throwing up, and then the, <laughs> and then the door opens, and you gotta like charge the beach. It's just like you know saving that scene from Saving Private Ryan. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I remember that. That was crazy. Yeah, I'm, here from the, I'm looking from the chat. It looks like there was Frontline All Star Gamer. Yeah, All Star Gamer. Thank, yeah, he just posted that. So uh, thank you, All Star Gamer, for uh, for putting that up the live chat. I think he's right. I think it's Frontline. So. Um, but at, that's that game always stuck out to me because, uh, or stood out to me because of the um, opening scene. There really reminded me of um, Saving Private Ryan. But you know what, guys? As we talk about these like first-person shooters more, I'm starting to think like, holy shit, they're running out of ideas. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure they have crazy ideas. They're just afraid to put them out there. You know, it's it's risky. They're afraid yeah, they exactly. might not make a lot of money. Everybody's. Exactly. Especially these FPS games, they're trying to play it safe, you know, and it's unfortunate that they they do that. I mean, these guys make so much money, they can throw something new out there and take a risk. I'm pretty sure if Treyarch or Infinity War makes a a completely nutty Call of Duty, like like Eric said, like something like um um Blood Dragon or something like that, I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure it's gonna do well, but. I don't mm-hmm. know. Everybody wants to be cool, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. yeah go, go with what's safe. Mm. You know? Don't you guys feel like that's just a common theme these days with gaming anyway? Yeah. 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 Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's why for me it's it's almost um, – it, it's really nice to see games like, like Gravity Rush. Like you were just talking about that, Eric. Like you're playing that right now on PlayStation 4. Um that's why I like some of the um, stuff that we see from any developers because um, they, more than anyone else, are, are taking chances on, um, you know, games. You know, we're seeing some really creative things. They're kind of filling that vacuum um, that I think was was left uh, by some of the, um, you know, uh, you know, closings that we saw um, the last couple of years with some of the studios and stuff. So, yeah, they're definitely filling in that mid tier, you know. That's needed. Yeah. 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 So, um, all right. So, speaking of another game that's coming out, that's gonna that um, we're we're gonna see its third installment. Dark Souls Three is coming out, and um, Al, um, I know you have um, been playing it. Yeah, just a couple hours. So, <laughs> um, you know, Dark Souls is one of those games that will just kick you in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, oh, hold on for me one moment. <laughs> yeah, no worries. No worries. It's, uh, it's... Yeah, so I can just stay. I, I have a couple notes here I wrote down. So basically, I'm about 32 hours into the game now. I'm probably in the second to last area-ish. Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> that sounds familiar. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, as far as I mean, I don't know what you want. What do you want me to say? I don't want to spoil too much for All people right. who you know won't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess as as best as you can. Um, maybe talk about some of the things like the game. Want, want me to get the big thing out of the way? The big thing out of the way? Is it better than Bloodborne? Yes, it is. Absolutely, hundred percent. Right. Is it? Uh, what about like compared <laughs> to uh, Dark Souls Two? I put three hundred hours in the Dark Souls Two, so okay. and I put maybe a hundred and fifty in the Bloodborne. So I'm I love these games. So okay, I guess I guess compared to Dark Souls Two, since that would be more appropriate than Bloodborne, but like. Compared to Dark Souls 2, as far as baseline Dark Souls 2 or Scholar of the First Sin? Uh, I guess Scholar of the First Sin, like level design. Um, oh, level design. Like, level yeah. design is uh, uh, Demon, Demon Souls meets Bloodborne. Um, wow. The, env the environments are probably a little bit smaller than what you're used to from Dark Souls 1, um, but by no means are small. But of mm. course, they're not massive. Um, there are areas that are in interconnected, but it's very much like Demon Souls, where you get to an end and you gotta warp out or etc. Oh, I don't so know. Like I said, okay. don't want to ruin everything. There is a hub world. If yeah. you like Demon Souls, you're really gonna like this game. If you like Demon Souls and Bloodborne, you're really, really gonna like this game. Okay. Well, I, I never played <laughs> Demon or. Oh my Demon goodness. Souls, but, I, I don't know, but two in Bloodborne, I got. Um, yeah. So, like, is there, are the levels, you said, the, so basically the levels are smaller. Are they, like, more vertical, or is it just? Um, no, it's just that they don't, like, all connect, sort of like Dark Souls 1. Literally, you basically connect from one area to the other by, yeah. you know, a door or a gate or whatever. Mm -hmm. This will, you get you a gate or a door, and then there'll be a load screen. However, load times are incredibly quick, incredibly mm -hmm. quick. The game runs, but I'm playing the Japanese PS4 version. Uh -huh. And the game runs as good as Bloodborne does currently after all the patches. So we're talking uh, 10 to 15 second load times. Summoning is almost wow. almost instantaneous on the PS4. It's very nice. Nice. Wow. Um, Ooh, that's hot. The frame rate is <laughs> the frame rate is like is like Bloodborne, so it hovers between 24 <laughs> frames and 30 frames a second. But as a Souls fan from the beginning, uh oh, I, hey, don't I'm, say I, that. That's you know what happens with frame rate drops. People go crazy. Uh, people can go crazy all they want. Now. They're gonna not. They're not gonna play a great game for a stupid reason. Yeah. Um. Uh. But the game is fantastic. Uh. I don't know what else you wanted me to say about it. Uh. Well. So. Uh. I. You talked about the visuals. I think. Right. Like yeah. How, how oh. Did, okay. Like so. How does the game look? I mean, because the, the one thing that that's got me excited about this is like a next gen Dark Souls game. Yes. Yes. Um. Whereas Bloodborne was a group graphical leap in front of like, you know, Dark Souls 2. Mm. Um, this is like, this is from knowing how the system works and just having a ball with it. I'm talking the real-time mm. lighting in, in sections is fantastic. The, the visuals are insane. Character designs are phenomenal. Um, I think I told the guys in the Super Deformed Gamecast, like, the first dragon that you see and have the option to fight, you don't have to fight him, but that's probably the most impressive dragon I've ever seen in a video game. I mean, it's just... They've done dragons before, From has, but this dragon is just, you've never seen a dragon like this, and it is amazing. Like, that scene wow. is just like, whoo, like, I get goosebumps talking about it, because it is incredible. The um, sense of scale the sense of scale is phenomenal. Hey, uh, Al, you're gonna, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can I interrupt you real quick? John no, in the live chat says he hates you. I know he does, <laughs> I know he does. And he is a, he is a monster, monster Dark Souls and Demon Souls fan, and, and, and it... It really sucks that he couldn't experience this with me, but he's doing it the right way. He's not going to have to look at his iPad every two seconds to translate stuff with Google Translate. Uh, you know? I don't know kanji, you know, so. Yeah, I'm John like, said life stops when Dark Souls 3 comes out. That's what he said, <laughs> he said a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, he did say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. He's taking yeah. off two days of work to uh, play Dark Souls 3. That's no. insane. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you see, I played I played through Dark Souls one. I'm still working on Bloodborne, but I skipped over two. But I heard three is actually more difficult than two. Um, it starts off very simple, and then it goes to oh my god, what did I get myself into? Oh, oh I, I love it! I love it! Yeah, go for it. Weapon variety and weapon like ability are they? Is it kind of like? 
I mean, are there more moves? Like, or is yes, there's weapon arts now. If you don't know what those, do you know what weapon arts are? Yeah, I've seen I've seen like one or two vids. I, I've been on media blackout for. A, oh, okay. Well, so without, that's, without, without, without spoiling <laughs> yeah. everything, every weapon has like their own set of moves. Like, there's regular moves that you can do, like high, you know, heart, heart attack, light attack. Then, uh, mm. the, the parries are all unique. Um, but there's now weapon arts, and those are almost like special moves you can do only with that weapon. Uh, and From really took the time that almost, I mean, I'm talking, no, I will, I'm not going to say almost, every weapon and shield you use and combination has a different moveset. It's it's pretty pretty impressive. Uh, John's asking me to talk about the music. Um, and I'm going to post a link to, uh, one of my friends actually uploaded the entire OST um, on Mediafile. Nice. <laughs> it's free right now, um, so I'll post a link to that after the show. But the music is incredible. The music mm. is Absolute hype. I mean, it is fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... Yeah. I know I've sold everybody on the game, right? Yeah, so, <laughs> so Al, I mean, I, I wasn't going to pick up Souls because we have Quantum Break coming out. I know. Uh, we have Ratchet and Clank. I know. Uh, we have Dark Souls 3. Uh, I'm still trying to get to the fucking Division right now. Yeah. Um, but the way you just described this Dark Souls, I'm just, like, salivating. I'm like, I have to, I have, to have this game. Recurring places, recurring characters. It's every Souls fan, like okay. fan, like actually, like I don't know. <laughs> it's out of control. Can you see hype, man? I, I am. <laughs> I am. <laughs> but Enrique, just so you know, like Souls can be. I mean, especially I want to say the first ten to fifteen hours is going to make or break you. All I can say is just keep at it. Yes. Don't give up. Yeah. You know? No, yeah, I it took. Get- Everyone's it took me almost 150 yeah. hours to beat uh, Demon Souls when it first came out. I imported yeah, that as well, mm, uh, and nice. that was in Japanese. And it took me probably 30 hours to figure out the mechanics. Like, <laughs> I, cu- I couldn't parry for shit. I wasn't yeah. parrying. I was I was yeah. just using my shield. And you can't just <laughs> use the shield and the sword in this game. Like you gotta pay parry, and they 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 slowly wean you into it. You just gotta. I mean, the game the games are all designed really well. Mm-hmm. You just pace yourself. Learn from your mistakes. You're gonna die a million times, but you're you're gonna learn from that. You gotta learn, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the achievement you feel like when you oh my when God. you start pass and get <laughs> yes. by, you know, it's like yeah. I know people will say like it's too frustrating. I'm done, but no, it really is. Like if you put the time in and really pay attention to what you're doing, the reward is so awesome. Yeah, you yeah. know, because you're only gonna be as good as how well you're paying attention to and learning the system. You know, you exactly. can't yeah, and then like barrel through, you know, it's very much a game of patience. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, you know, it, it Eric, it kind of reminds me of, um, you know, the kind of the old school games you used to play where there weren't, like, save points and <laughs> where if you died, mm-hmm. you'd have to restart and, and, and battle again. And um, so that's that's always been the appeal for me, you know, mm-hmm. kind of that, that old school flavor of difficulty that we just don't really see in games these days. Yeah. Right, right. So, uh, radar, which is like. But speaking speaking on this, um, have you guys both played Salt and Sanctuary? No, yes. I haven't played that yes. yet. No? Did you play yeah. it, Eric? No, I haven't played it. But Al, you played it? Yeah, I played it after uh, uh, John from the Super Deformed Gamecast. He, he actually was going to start a stream after mm-hmm. the end of the show two shows ago, mm-hmm. and I was like, ah. I'll check it out, you know. And I, I literally watched him for four minutes, and then I downloaded the game, and I played it for three hours. I mean, the game is insane. It's it's wow. amazing. Yes. Yeah, I might have to pick that one up. What about you, Ken? Oh, I'm I, I like put it on a back burner for some reason. Uh-huh. Um, like I saw it, I was just like, oh, I'll get it later. But I, mm. I, I think I'm like, <laughs> it looks beautiful, man. Yeah, it's 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 nice. I'm. Where I'm at in it, I'm not at the end. I mean, I think John just beat it, or he's at the end guy, and I know it's super frustrating there. Mm. Um, but I haven't gotten to that point yet. I'm not burned out yet. I still like it. It's it's tough, though. Mm. Um, uh, I want to play it like a Castlevania or like Metroid, you know? Yeah. But it's not... It, just because it looks like that, like it doesn't like right. Right. Yeah. 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 So, I just love the fact that they basically just... Pretty much Swagger Jack, Dark Souls, but in a good oh. way. Oh, <laughs> it's like a love letter, you oh, know. It's yeah. like designs, f- yeah. fl- blood flasks, or salt, you know, souls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nice. It's pretty awesome though. It's it's fantastic that just a, a husband and a wife team that made that. It's oh wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, Scott Studios. Yeah, I think it's like it's like yeah. two. It's like two. It's the husband and wife and like two other guys or three other guys. Mm-hmm. That's it. 
but it's from them. It's those just the husband and wife that basically did everything. And I right. think it's it's retailing right now for what seventeen on um, the PlayStation Store, the Play, like yeah. talk, PlayStation Store. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I love their I love this first game, which was uh, with the uh, dishwasher. Oh yeah, those are on, awesome know. games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's really cool. All right, I'm I'm fucking hyped for Souls now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank, yeah. thank you. Someone, Al. From the, someone from, yeah, no problem. Someone from the cast, All Star Gamer. He asked, uh, I think he asked, what is the does Dark Souls three have faster pace combat? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, if you if you're going from mm. Bloodborne, it's not like. <laughs> see, this is where things get tricky. They don't. No uh, spoilers. <laughs> unlike Bloodborne, <laughs> unlike Bloodborne, you can make a character however. You, I mean, you can make characters however you want in Bloodborne. Granted. But in Dark Souls, different characters move differently. Different mm. characters can use different things better. You can make a faster character in Dark Souls 3. You can make a character that's arguably as fast as a Bloodborne character. Mm. However, I wouldn't recommend a faster character to start off with, but to each their own. You, you're mm. saying for someone who may need a little bit of a learning curve, maybe a character that... When you say someone, not a fast character, I'm assuming a slow character may has a little more armor or something like that, or defense? Uh, I would say, like, a starter character. If, if anyone wants to get into it, just to start, I would probably try a knight. I'm taking Knight's notes. Good. taking notes right now. Or deprived. <laughs> deprived, and then just, just boost strength, health, or strength, vigor, and endurance. And then just alternate off of those. Mm. Um, what I was going to ask you, um, is... Uh... Like agility still there? Like, are there uh, still like breakpoints where? Hold on. Hey, can I interrupt real quick, Ken? Oh, go ahead. I'm go sorry, ahead. man. I mean, interrupt. Eric, Ken is so hyped, man. He's asking yeah. so many questions. He loves it. <laughs> no, I love that's that. Okay. Yeah. No, that's okay. Awesome. That's awesome. I love good. it. Yeah. I love it. That's awesome. That, that passion, man. I love that. Yeah, I'm sorry, Ken. Go ahead, man. No, I just um, it was just a question about agility, like um, like the invincibility frames when you roll. Um, is it the same as in Dark Souls Two, or is it not in? Uh, is it not in Dark Souls 3? Kind of like how it wasn't in Bloodborne that much as far as... I think as... it's closer to Bloodborne. I know what you're talking about. I think it's closer oh, okay. to Bloodborne, though. Okay. But, uh, That's all. Don't, don't quote me on that, but I I felt that it played more like Bloodborne. Uh, I came from right after playing uh, Scholar of the First Sin to Dark Souls 3. So. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, I won't stay too much on it. I, I can talk about. <laughs> no, dude, keep. Hey, 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 man. hey, Ken, if you got more questions, man, ask yeah. them. Because seriously, man, it's it's great conversation, and it's yeah. a big game that's coming out. Um, yeah. You know uh, what is it? April twelfth. April twelfth. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, actually, we, you know, we were talking about uh, Z Huge uh, before we uh, went live on the podcast, and he posted something. About um, I guess it was it most anticipated games. Did you see this, Al? Or or games that gamers are going to buy, according to Nielsen? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, he tweeted something out. I, I'll have to look for it. But um, looks like some survey was done of um, games. Uh, like I think most anticipated games are, are, are games that gamers are planning on buying in the month of April. Dark Souls Three was right up there. That's awesome. It deserves it. Yeah. Yeah, that's such an amazing thing where you think where it came from with Demon Souls, how everyone kind of said initially this is such a, a niche genre. Yeah, they like never make it in the West. Yoshi, right. Yosp, the Yasp. Yeah. Shuhai, he said that uh, we're not going to send it over. <laughs> and here he is pumping Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 down our throats. Well, Bloodborne, <laughs> was, kind of, Bloodborne was kind of an apology. To yeah, them. I know, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he made up for it, he made up for it. I know. You yeah, I never, forget. I never forget though. <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. It's definitely true. No, but you yeah. guys are right though. I mean, like it was, yeah, it was supposed to be this uh, this niche game that wasn't supposed to have legs in the West, and it did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and I, I have a buddy. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Shiz, um, who's not listening now, but he's uh, one of my uh, subs. I've I've been gaming with this dude for like 14 years. He nice. loves Dark Souls. When Dark Souls came out, I mean. And he's like, he's a hardcore gamer. I mean, this guy, and he's probably one of the most talented gamers I've ever game with. I used to game with him on a Xbox Live Clan. I mean, this dude was legit. And <laughs> you guys remember Blur, Last Console Generation? Oh, yeah. 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 So he was like top three in the world or some shit with, on Blur. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. he was insane. Um, but he got, so na- he got so nice at Souls. He was like a level 30-something. And what was it? You could like... Um, he like was it like different worlds or different like um, I don't remember now like rooms that you could kind of go in with like different levels. 
Does that make sense? Am I, do I, am I remembering this right? It's been. I just rem- been, I just remember the game. I don't remember what the hell it was about. Like I remember, because you know, like people would, like people would, like attack you. They would come in and like you know attack you. Um. So basically, what would happen is like these like higher levels would come in and attack him, right? Because you know people would come in and, and and try to take your shit or whatever. And he was like a level thirty five, and he would just smash people. I think it was a pyromancer or something like that. He would just smash these like <laughs> level like fifty sixty guys who were expecting to prey on somebody lower level. Oh yeah. Yeah, and he says that they would summon other people to come help him, and he would smash both people, and he would get the <laughs> and he would get like death threats, <laughs> like oh, nasty messages from people. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah I so. know. I was th- I want to get like two little like Yorkie dogs, and name them Ornstein and Smoo. 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 Yeah, Smoo. That's amazing. Oh man, I remember fighting those two guys, dude. It was like, what? You know, I think oh when I beat them, I literally ran out of my house and screamed and like, <laughs> down the, down the street, like, like, yeah, motherfucker, like yeah. yelling at my neighbors. I mean, that was like one of like the best feelings. It was so amazing. Yeah. And that's yeah, Enrique, Enrique. I don't know if you know about that, man. It's like in a game that's already crazy tough. You're taking on two insanely tough bosses at the same time. At the same time, yeah. You're not taking them on one on one. One's crazy powerful, one's yeah. super swift, and they're just yeah, just coming at you. It was yeah, it was the crazy. That was the best way. Yeah, when you're done with that, you're literally like breathing like, cr- like. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's I was right. You want to throw the controller down and run out the house and tell your neighbors and shit. Yeah, man. It's like uppercut like, the mailman. You know, you yeah. just do it. <laughs> <laughs> uppercut the mailman. <laughs> I can do anything. <laughs> That's right. Man. <laughs> Flip the car over. Oh my god! Yeah, man. Real hilarious. Yeah. So real, hey, real quick, guys. Um, I was talking about Z Huge. He tweeted something. Uh-huh. Um, so here it is: top ten game, top ten games that U.S. consumers plan to buy next, um, according to Nielsen. Uh, let's see here. Let's Number see. one: Dark Souls three, two Damn. Fallout four, uh, three Uncharted four, Thief's End four, The Division five, Doom. Six FIFA 16, seven Pokemon, Sun and Moon, eight Hitman, nine Kingdom Hearts 3, and ten Far Cry Primal. I don't know mm-hmm. how people are going to be buying Uncharted 4 when it comes out in May. Yeah, so I guess I, I, I guess it, so it's not April, guys. I, I said April, but it's not April. Just, just oh, top, just in general. Yeah, just top ten. Uh, yeah, okay. top ten games that U.S. That consumers plan to buy next. So yeah, that makes mm-hmm. more. Yeah, so so I, I I fucked that up. Sorry, guys. But yeah. <laughs> no, that's okay. It's all good. Um. Yeah, so Dark Souls 3 is up there. So yeah. you awesome, got to think man. it's on three platforms, you know. Yeah. So let me ask you something, Good guys. Stuff. I, you know, I, I, you know, we don't talk, we don't really talk sales a lot on this podcast, but um, is it out of? It's probably going to be the top-selling NPD game, I would imagine, for April. Um, for uh, no? uh, multi-plat. Well, uh, I think so. I think so. I mean, I don't want to be so bold as to say absolutely, but it has a really good chance. I mean, what else is in April? Ratchet and Clank, but that's you know that's exclusive and Quantum uh, Break exclusive. Quantum Break, yeah. Yeah, that's all why apps, yeah, it'll stomp them both. You know why? Pretty much, <laughs> the PC numbers alone will be better than Xbox One numbers. Mm-hmm. Uh, PS4 numbers though, there's way more PS4 players, you know. So I don't know. Yeah. I think it'll do fairly well. Um, but you never yeah. know. You got games like exactly. I don't want to say. Yeah, I, I, like... I, I want it to sell a lot, <laughs> but I don't. I don't want to say it's gonna definitely. Uh, yeah, I mean, people on, are buzzing it, about it. Yeah, it's on three platforms. It has a really good chance. Yeah, mm-hmm. let me ask you guys something. You think that this should be the last installment in this series, or they should they just keep this thing going? Uh, I'm gonna um, tell you right off the bat. There's no way this is gonna be the end. Mm. I, I see why he wants to end it though, like you know, end it while you're on top. I yeah. honestly, I hope they end like Dark Souls here, but then make the make another series with the similar combat, but I don't know, in a different setting or something like that. I'm I'm interested to see Kingsfield PSVR. Oh, wow! That would be incredible. That would be. <laughs> Hey, From Software's logo was on that splash screen for developers working. To make it was, PSVR. yeah, it was. It's right, yeah, um, they yeah. Can, they can do that. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
Kind of I'd, I'd, be, I'd be just as happy with an Ace Combat, though. Or, uh, not Ace Combat, Armored Core. Armored Core would be nice. Yeah. Man, I haven't played... Jeez, man. <laughs> Talk about a blast. Dude, From Software is <laughs> they, phenomenal. Oh, yeah, Atogi. Atogi is probably one of my favorite games on the Xbox. Atogi uh, and Atogi uh, 2. Okay, so they need to bring that back. Atogi <laughs> was fucking phenomenal. Why right? haven't we... Yeah, like, Atogi, why, why hasn't that game come back? Someone explain this to me, please. I don't know, man. I want to play a Kabuki Warlord and just go balls out crazy it's... like Bayonetta style and kill things. Oh, my God. I re... <laughs> Yeah, and I remember Atogi it was challenging. There was, that yeah. wasn't like a, you know, an easy game. I don't think I beat it. I don't think I beat either one. You know what? I, I don't remember. I may. I, I own them. I beat the first one. I don't think I beat the second one. Mm. Yeah. Now there was only two installments in that game, right? Yeah. As far as I know, yeah. Anybody play Lords of the Fallen? No, oh, yeah. I haven't picked that up. I haven't picked I that up yet. It's free. I heard it's hard though. Yeah. It's it's what... Souls esque. Mm-hmm. That's what I hear. Yeah, I grabbed it, but I haven't I haven't played it yet. Oh my god, I can't... Eric, I'm so backlogged, man. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, story, <laughs> story of my life, man. Yeah. Jeez. And I just, dude, I just resign myself to the fact I'm never going to get out of the backlog, so I'm just going <laughs> to and just take it as a good first world problem. You know? <laughs> first world problem. <laughs> backlogged. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, speaking of um, um, games of gold, because that's where you can pick that up for free right now, um, Microsoft announced their games for gold for April, and we're gonna get. Uh, oh, the big one is, is Sunset Overdrive. Insane for Insane. free. I mean, so you know, Eric, when I heard this announcement, I was thinking about a conversation that you and I had. Uh, I think maybe on this podcast too. I know we definitely had it offline. Mm-hmm. I think we may have had this on a couple of podcasts ago. And we're talking about, you know, um, you know, Microsoft and Sony, and are they? Um, I think the conversation was like, are they offering enough? big games, or should they start offering some more big titles um, mm-hmm. with some of the free titles or games they're releasing every month? And so when I saw this announcement, I was like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, this is what we were talking about. Yeah, it's a pretty solid month. Yeah. yeah. Pretty solid. Um, and it's the other one, so it's it's Sunset Overdrive, uh, Wolf Among Us, and then what are the two, uh, uh, two 360 Dead games, Space. I forgot. Uh, Dead, Space. Dead Space. Yep. And I forget the other one now. And clearly, I'm not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I had it up too on my screen. I don't know how. I think I closed the window. <laughs> Saints, Saints Row Four. Saints, Saints Row, 4. Row Four. Boom. Yeah. Which is that's there's a lot of stuff in that game, man. That's a big ass game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it you is. might not, you might not like the game, but there's a lot of content there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, I I think this is great. Uh, this is a great month if you're uh, an Xbox Live Gold subscriber. Um, you get these free games. Uh, if, look, if you haven't played Sunset Overdrive, you have no excuse now not to play this game. It's coming out free, um, and it's a great, it's a fun game. It is. I highly recommend it. Yeah, you're right. You have no, no reason not to grab it. Yeah, and it's a shame that it didn't sell well on the Xbox because it's such a good game. Um, you know, I was actually on a, a TXR podcast last night, and we were talking about. Um, you know why it didn't sell well, and you know some of the uh, you know some of the panel thought maybe it has to do with Insomniac really not being maybe well known uh, on the Xbox platform. You yeah, know. maybe. Yeah, um, and then, I didn't see know, any ads for it. <laughs> yeah, I you know yeah it wasn't I didn't see a lot of ads either. I saw some um, for an exclusive. They should be pumping that you know. On you know ESPN, <laughs> all exclusive games. If you put it on ESPN or like NBC or CBS at night, you'll WNBC. see it. NBC, yeah, basically. <laughs> I think I actually remember I did see like a pretty decent amount of of commercials, but I honestly think a lot of it was just kind of when it released. I mean, it dropped in like late October. Yeah. You know, later in the year, in the fall, and it's a new IP. It's kind of like you know. Getting going in kind of like the, the, the thick area of the year. Yeah. You know, going in too early, people want to wait and see what's in the fall. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people aren't like us where we get everything. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Yeah. I should say most people are not like us. <laughs> no, that's true. But that's I true. I would have thought that um, you know, it being an insomniac game, 
um, on an, an exclusive Insomniac game at that on the Xbox, it would have garnered a little more interest in terms of yeah. you know people coming out and picking it up. So I'm, I was just really surprised. Uh, and it's not a bad game by any stretch no, of the imagination. No, 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 no. It's yeah, got it some might, pretty awesome weapons and stuff in it. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, absolutely. And it might not be for everyone. You know, it kind of reminds me of. Uh, it, it, and I always, I always talk about this when I when I you know talk about Sunset Overdrive. It always reminds me of Jet Set Radio for some reason. Oh yeah, well you're constantly oh, yeah, grinding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely an inspiration in there. For that, you definitely see like that Ratchet and Clank background. You know, mm-hmm. like with the crazy weapons and stuff, you know. Yeah, you do. Yeah, which I got to play the demo, by the way. Oh, Freaking nice. Over Ratchet. Nice. Yeah. Freaking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey Ken, are you picking up Ratchet? Uh, I don't know. I'm no. working on so many games right now. <laughs> Ken, right no, now. Ken's gonna be on Dark Souls three. I'm, what, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Ken, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Get, I'm gonna get Salt and Sanctuary definitely. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know about Ratchet. I don't know. I, I'll probably get it, but I I know I won't be playing it like. Like that's not gonna be the game I'm on. It's gonna be Dark Souls. Like once right. Dark Souls comes out, I'm going in the bunker and <laughs> like, uh, that's it. cases of Mountain Dew and ramen. Yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> and Doritos. No, Bella, yeah. Bella said in the chat, she said, "Yes, can oh. we are." Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, does that, does that mean that you guys are going to the bunker or? No, no well, getting a uh, rationing clink. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That game looks that game looks really beautiful, by the way. I got it, you know. I've I played it at uh, GameStop, and if you haven't played it at GameStop, I would encourage anyone listening to this podcast to just go to GameStop and play it. Try it out. I already have it preloaded. Oh, you have it preloaded? Yeah, I oh, went. Nice. I oh jumped on. Yeah. I, I, I was like, oh, what? I was like, back. You know, on, I'm, but I'm, I'm not going to lie, I have, I have all the PS4 exclusives uh, on, on my uh, PS4 digitally, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, it was also... Digital. Also. Yeah, me too. Um, you know what's crazy? I, I'm more digital on my PlayStation 4 than on my Xbox. Same, mm. same. I don't know why. Interesting. I never. I just didn't think about that until you guys started talking about it. So wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. And you know, and you know what else? Like when it came to that, like I'm, I'm probably going to slide some things over and jump on that because it just looks... You know, phenomenal. It looks fun, but also a lot of it was just also wanted to make sure I showed that support because we keep saying we want these different experiences, different games. We want some platformers. We want some this and that. And then, you know, you only show them that by you know opening your wallet. Yeah, no, you, you're yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, know, but I'm not saying buy it and just let it sit for a year because that's kind of like. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> so I get that too, but as some, you know, if it's definitely one of those games that interests somebody, I would say grab it, you know, at some point, you know, just to show, hey, yeah, these games can make it. You know, we do want these. You know, we don't just want shooters all the time. Very true. Oh uh, yeah, man. Look at you. Could look at ukulele. Was it ukulele? Yeah. Yeah. Ukulele. Got funded in a day. I mean, yeah. that's ridiculous. <laughs> I got funded in like six hours. Mm-hmm. People want old school platformers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. Yeah, no, they do. They do. Well, and we just we actually just want variety. That's what we want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, or options, as Eric and I call it. <laughs> Some people don't like <laughs> options, though. Yeah, no. there's uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. there a lot of folks that don't want options. So I, yeah. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, you know the uh, games of gold. Though back to that, it just um, uh, Eric. I I hope this is a a trend that we start. I, here's my thing. I what I think is going to happen. I think that uh, we're going to see some other big games like a Sunset Overdrive the next couple months leading up to E3. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and you got to remember the you, the 360 games are, are backwards compatible. So yeah. right, you can get them on the store now. Yeah, and you can get them on the store. Yeah, so which is fantastic. Yeah, that mm-hmm. backwards compatible. See, I and I and I and I go to that. I mean, that further backlogs me because there's stuff on the 360 oh, yeah. I didn't get a chance to play. Oh god, Red Dead Redemption play. was seven bucks yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, well worth picking up if you haven't, you know. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you guys heard the rumor Red Dead Red Dead Little I can't even talk Red Dead Redemption three. Yeah. yeah. Coming out. Uh-huh. Maybe E3 announcement. Possibly. Rockstar hasn't been at an E3 in like forever though, so they're gonna be there this year, right? 
Yeah. I don't. Where's Agent? <laughs> Hold it out for hey, where's agent? Yeah, right. <laughs> They're too yeah, busy man. printing money with GTA Five right now. Oh God, so that thing is... keeps making money. How did who does not have GTA Five? That so many people are getting GTA Five that it's still charting. That, that's insane yeah. when you really think I about it. That's crazy. It. <laughs> I don't understand. It. <laughs> like how? How is that tell you, possible? Man, the, the, the heads of, uh, of Rockstar are like, I'm tired of buying Bentleys. I'm tired of buying... <laughs> money. What are we doing? Those guys are <laughs> fucking printing money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're having champagne parties every Friday at they 3 o'clock. The, the Scrooge McDuck vault. Yeah, <laughs> they, they do. Here, <laughs> yeah, they're diving in the change, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, f- funny enough, as a joke... You know, you guys are bringing it up, but Sam Hauser recently bought like the most expensive property in Brooklyn. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah, that made like uh, I think that made Wired like two or three months ago or something like that. It was like something that's like 18 million dollars for like this big huge house in Brooklyn. I'm not surprised. I'm not like, surprised. You know, like <laughs> Rockstar Games CEO Sam Hauser. I was like, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> he made Wired for this? So funny. <laughs> Well, there's wow. a rumor. There's a rumor now that that they're you know number six GTA six is in development. And that, oh, there's, I mean, no, there's no doubt, without a doubt. Oh yeah. oh yeah, and and so you look at GTA five and how much money that printed. Imagine like GTA six when that comes out and takes advantage of current gen hardware. And that I crazy mean, funding. Yeah. Holy they, shit. They better have like five hundred hours of like. Old school gangster rap. I'm talking everybody <laughs> better be on there. <laughs> everybody, everybody better be on there. <laughs> hey guys, let, let, let's speculate here real quick. So, what do you guys think is going to be like? What do you think the next GTA is going to take place? Like, what city? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know. You think uh, they might drop back into like a Vice City type oh, thing? Oh, I hope they go back but to it, like. But in a modern city. setting. Modern you know? Vice City, yeah. Yeah. Florida would be pretty cool. Florida would be cool. I could see that. I could see. But you know, what about Europe? They've never done anything in Europe. Um. Well, they did London. GTA London. Yeah, GTA. <laughs> oh, they did. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they're right. What about going back to London though? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I think. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to say what I want to say. <laughs> no, go ahead. Say it. Go ahead. And say. It. Uh, I think uh, making it more. I mean, this is. This is my opinion only. I think making it more American uh, sells the game more mm-hmm. because the other areas don't have the kind of crazy crime that we do or that isn't, you know, publicized. I mean, there is crime in other areas, but mm-hmm. movies it based in America always have, like Heat, you know. <laughs> well, the game is a parody of American culture. A- exactly. Yeah, exactly. It, is. it is, yeah. So, so I, I see them staying in the States, but I just don't know where or when. Hmm. They could do. Well, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'd like to. <laughs> Wyoming. Wyoming, yeah. Yes. North Dakota. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That would be fantastic. <laughs> North Dakota. Yeah, that's. Uh... Hey, the intro to GTA 5 was in uh, North Dakota, wasn't it? Uh... North Yankton? No, it North Yankton. Yeah, yeah North oh. Yankton, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I, I think they. I could see them going back to like one of the, the old. You know, they uh, did all the major some, cities, yeah. though. I mean, yeah, yeah, they did New York. Well, they haven't done anything in Texas. Texas. Yeah, but I mean, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> No, nah, let me let me not insult people from. Texas. <laughs> I'm not gonna go oh. there. Okay. No, I'm gonna actually be in Texas not too long now, so yeah, I'm not gonna insult Texas. Yeah, they're gonna be your neighbors soon, man. It's gonna be where you live. Mm-hmm. America. Yeah, so like, what about Boston? Yeah, yeah, yeah they Boston, Boston, Boston. Yeah, Boston would be cool. Boston would be cool, yeah. man. Yeah. I lived outside of Boston for a number of years, man, and there's some seedy, seedy areas there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't, like, South Boston supposed to be seedy? Is yeah, that, Dorchester. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so you can draw from, like, movies like The Town or yeah. the show Brotherhood. Yeah, The Town, like yeah. 
Yeah, that or, actually could be pretty cool, man. Or uh, what was that? Uh, there was that other movie that was in Boston um, uh, a couple years ago. Oh wow, All Star Gamers at Baltimore. The that is the, there's some definite CD parts of Baltimore. Oh yeah, Baltimore, dude. I Baltimore. I, oh, like the Wire. That'd be fantastic. I used, yeah, to, yeah. <laughs> I used to live. I used to live in Baltimore City. Oh okay. Because I went to school. Oh, wow. I went to school up there. Let me tell you something. Somebody broke in my house in the middle of the day when my roommate was sleeping. Stole my PlayStation Two. <laughs> oh, Ice cold, man. man. Ice wow. cold. They found him walking around Patterson Park with, <laughs> uh, yeah, with a PlayStation 2. Yeah, in the middle of the daytime. Did you get it back? Yeah, I got it back. Fucker. Oh, you should have had the guy signed it. <laughs> yeah, I was, it, I was so because I was playing. Um, I think it was I was playing Devil May Cry at the time. <laughs> you know, and I was awesome. like, I was like, my fucking Devil May Cry disc better be in there, and it was. <laughs> mm. But yeah, Baltimore would be interesting. Oh, now everyone's Atlanta, Hawaii. Atlanta, Someone said Hawaii. Atlanta's, good, Atlanta's be good too. ATL, yeah. The South, yeah. Anything in the South would yeah, be actually pretty good. Yeah. Cool. Houston. What about Houston? Just like a Panhandle GTA. That'd be sweet. Panhandle GTA. <laughs> what would be better, Houston or Dallas? I say Houston. Yeah, Houston. Yeah, I think Houston has a higher crime rate. <laughs> <laughs> I could well, I mean, again at the end of the Detroit? day they're gonna they're gonna make fictitious versions yeah. of those things, right? So it's like yeah. how about so Washington DC like Dallas and oh, Houston yeah. together and make like one big you know. How about DC? DC hey. We'll ride by a fictitious White House and do it. A... <laughs> <laughs> fictitious White House, right? Hey. Yeah. See how far you can get across the lawn before you get tackled by something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hey, that's God. Some, that's something they haven't tried yet. <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait, para- parachute in. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You walk past the White House, there's a lot of snipers hanging around. Yeah. yeah. yeah so how did, that, how did that guy get in through the door then? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> you know I, don't, I don't know how that happened. That guy has some balls, though. I wouldn't do that. No, I, live, no, man. I live like 20 minutes outside D.C. You, yeah. <laughs> You don't mess around with the White House. There's a lot of security there. A lot of plain clothes too. Mm. You get in trouble. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Let's uh, let's kind of transition to our next topic, which is the new PlayStation. What some people are calling the 4.5. Um, PS4K. PS4K. Yeah. So uh, this came out. Um, there's an article by Kotaku after GDC. Uh, outing uh, the new hardware uh, that Sony's uh, working on right now um, with the PlayStation 4, and so there's been a lot of like rumors, speculation about, you know, what is this? What is it going to mean? Is it a more powerful console? Is it a slim? Um, you know, w- what is what is Sony really doing? And before I kind of just, um, you know, give you guys my rant, I kind of want to get your opinions first and. So Al, why don't I kick this over to you? What do you what what do you think this is? What do you think Sony's working on? What do you think is going to come out? Uh, well, I think okay. You know, I'll just tell the story as I, how I heard it. Uh, the Monday before the PlayStation VR conference, I got some interesting emails from a couple sources saying that Sony is going to announce a new console today for the VR. They didn't say PS. They didn't say 4K. They didn't say 4K for gaming. They just said it was very nondescript. Uh, I got the first email like at I don't know five in the morning, and I blew it off like, eh, that's okay. Well, that's a that's fake. It can't. There's no way. Well, two hours later, as I'm having my coffee, I I look and I get another message from another person saying the same thing. I'm like, oh shit, are they really going to announce new hardware? But I, did, I wasn't brazen enough to make the tweet, you know. But I did make a couple of direct messages to some associates of mine, like, did you guys hear about this? Um, so, anyways, nothing happens. PSVR is shown, you know, they give the date or whatever. And then the week goes by, and then I guess it was Wednesday that Kotaku's thing comes out. And then later on, uh, who was the other one? Was it Eurogamer? Came out and actually said it's yes, actually Eurogamer. called PS4K. Four K. Four K. Well, none of my speculatory emails that I got are source emails. I mean, these are from some valid sources. Um, 
said anything about improving the gameplay and everything. So that's all new to me. I didn't hear anything about that. I took it as it's going to box in VR and just make VR maybe run a little bit better or maybe cut the pricing a little bit with the cost of the console because you're going to ask people for another three ninety nine on top of this stuff, you know. Maybe that's where it was going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so now flash forward to all the news is out last week or the week before, and they're saying that it's actually going to improve games, so it's sort of like a new 3DS versus the 3DS, so those games will run on the PS4, but they'll run a little bit better. I don't know. I don't see Sony doing that to fragment the user base. Uh, some people say, well, it's not going to fragment. Well, bullshit, it's going to fragment the user yeah. base. Uh, <laughs> people are going to people are going to be upset if they have to buy if if they buy like you know another 499 console, 399 console when they already have one, you know. Um, I I don't know if that's real. I that that's my take. I think that it's going to output 4K, but it's not going it's going to do native stuff, at, you know, yeah. 1080 still. Mm-hmm. That's my take. I don't know if they're gonna make it smaller. Um, I will say there's another rumor going around that they made the, the motherboard smaller. So I heard that too. Yeah. So they are actually making something smaller. Um, I think it's just I, I think people. Ken, you gotta wait your turn, man. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Man. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, Ken. So, I I think um. I think this is getting blown a little out of proportion. Like people freaking out. Oh, they're gonna yeah. fragment the base. Sony would be crazy. That would be the dumbest thing ever. If if they actually brought out a PS4.5 that has new hardware to play 4K games. First of all, it's not gonna play 4K games. It, it it's not gonna happen. You need so much horsepower to do that. Yeah. That. Good to point. put it in that small space, it's not going to happen. I think all it's going to be is it, it's going to be able to output like 4K, maybe video or something like that, or yeah, yeah. just just media. It's not Some, something realistic. It, yeah, it's like when the Xbox 360 got the um, was it HDMI? Uh, I think the HDMI port or something like that. You know. Yes, it was able to output an HDMI, but it was the same console. It didn't fragment yeah. anything. It's the same thing. I think yeah. there's just no way they're going to frag- fragment uh, their base and leave 40 people, 40 million people in the, you know, out in the cold like that. That's That would be the dumbest move in hardware history. So <laughs> yeah. Dumbest yeah. move in hardware history. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, you do get like... Dumber than the Ouya? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, because you, I mean, you, you do get, you can get, like, shifts in, like, a console model. Like, I remember, like, with the 360, they had a newer one with a different chipset that kept it cooler, and you didn't the, get the, the one that red, red ring. ring. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then at some point, they added, like, an HDMI, you know, whatever. But it didn't leave anybody behind as far as what it can do. You know, so, yeah, that's a... I can't imagine them being that risky in doing that, like Ken said. You know, that would just be suicide. You know? And, yeah. and, 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 and I'm not going with the whole bullshit thing of, well, the media will, you know, smooth <laughs> it over. Let's cut that shit out right now because people can make up their own minds. You know, yeah, you know, some people can be <laughs> lemmings and be easily yeah. led, but that's on a lot of things. But I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, you know. Anyway, sorry. I went off on a tangent. No, 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 Eric. No, that's no, right. no. That's, Eric, yeah, you bring us yeah, some good yeah. points, man. That's no. yeah. it, it's hard to say. You know, we yeah. we, just we don't know like, anything. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, it just yeah. sucks that we have a little bits of information, and we just let our minds go with it. Right, but the one who see, hasn't said anything is Sony. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> and you know they they can't at this point. They really can't because they're trying to sell people PSVRs. Right. Yeah. Well, I I, I agree with what. All of you, all, oh, oh, I can't even talk tonight, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm just fucking <laughs> yeah, tired. Bro, man. Yeah, and I, and I drink a look. I, I drink a pint of Guinness while I was doing this podcast. Um, so that's making <laughs> me tired. But um, no, I agree with um, you know everything you guys have all said. Uh, uh, Ken, you met, you brought up a great point about you know not fragmenting that base. Look, they what do they have? Like 40 million? 40 uh, million. Is that 40 million PS4 owners now? Is that? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. That's an estimation. We the last official count was 36 million, but 
All right, let's, let's yeah. argument's sake, say, say 30, 36. just say 36 million. They're not going to fragment a base. They're not going to fragment the developers are making games for it, too. So, yeah. um, you know. Yeah, I, what, are they gonna, what are they going to tell developers? Make a good yeah. looking version of the game and a <laughs> shitty looking version of the game. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and I just, I gave MS uh, shit. What a couple of weeks ago, when they started, you know, when Spencer started talking about, oh, you know, upgradable Xbox Ones or whatever, like I, I hope neither company do does anything like that. It we've seen it with the 32x and Sega CD and yeah, it's 32x was that like a, like a day before the Saturn was released? Yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a Sega CD too. And Three hundred dollars, I remember my folks saying. Uh, that hurts. That hurts, man. Three hundred dollars back then. That's a lot of sewer like, shark right there. You know, <laughs> I love I love sewer shark. Sewer shark. Oh man. Yeah. Awesome game. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I agree with you guys. I think I think this is going to be the PlayStation Four Slim. I yes. think it's going to be co- fully compatible with 4K TV screens. Um, Absolutely. It's gonna, you know, be able to. So if you have Netflix 4K, you'll be able to do that. Um, but I, I, yeah, I, I think that's it. I, I don't think it's going to be this more powerful um, game console for the reasons you guys just mentioned. But mm-hmm. uh, apparently, we're supposed to hear something sooner than later. Um, I think it's about we're supposed to get some news prior to the again rumor uh, to the uh, PlayStation VR launchers. I think it's in October. So. Um, and then the question is, you know, when is this thing launched? Do you think this thing will launch, you know, this this holiday? You know, oh yeah, that's another holiday. thing. Like the rumor in Kotaku was this year, right? Yeah, but now some people are saying that I've heard 2017. That's that's a much reasonable, you know, for a reboot of a system. Mm. Yeah. So. But um, yeah, I I don't see them doing anything dumb and and fragmenting the the base. No, uh, by doing this. So, uh, by the way, I'm actually okay. I'm I'm all for. Uh, by the way, full disclosure, I'm all, I'm all for a, a modular Xbox One if it's reasonably priced. I can just snap an upgrade real quick. I'm okay with that as long as it's easy to do, and I don't, I don't have to whip out a Phillips screwdriver, you know, and uh, you know pull out uh, a set of directions that look like I just bought furniture from IKEA. I'm okay with it. <laughs> That's my rate for the evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just we just gotta wait. I mean, yeah, it's it sucks, but that's that's what we gotta do. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah, obviously we'll we'll find out more. We'll probably find out more at uh, at E3. So, uh, yeah, this is all this is all clearly speculation. But I mean, yeah, this thing it does seem like this thing is happening. I mean, yeah. um, you know, it, Kotaku. Um, you know, this all came out of GDC, mm-hmm. and uh, Al sounds like you've you've heard some things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's just where there's smoke, man. There's something happening, but yeah, where there's smoke, there's fire. You know, we just don't know what the fire is. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, and you know, I it, maybe it maybe it incorporates a 4K Blu-ray player, and you know, um, that'd be cool. Yeah, it's 4K. For the, for like the- for the three blue 4K Blu-rays I own. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but look, I mean, 4K TVs are getting so cheap now. It kind of makes sense. I mean, it's, that's it's almost cool. standard now, I think, right? Uh, I would say that it's it's getting there. But it's, it's getting cool. there. I mean, I'm. Yeah. I mean, I've got a couple friends who just recently upgraded 4K. Um, I had a buddy picked up a Samsung over the holidays for like a grand, a 55-inch 4K TV. Yeah. You know, and I paid. I got my Samsung 1080p. Um, shit, 2013, and paid like 1,700 for it. I'm pissed. <laughs> yeah, it's, it sucks. So. Yes, this is just slap in the face. <laughs> right, that's how it goes, though, man. Huh? You know, that's, that's how that's how it goes. I'm, Eric, I'm telling you, technology is like fuck your couch. <laughs> <laughs> for real. <laughs> Don't buy any technology until right around Black Friday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. Exactly. Do yourself a favor. Exactly. So. All right, gentlemen. Well, uh, that's it for topics. Um, we're done. So, unless there's uh, anything else you guys want to cover real quick, um, uh, that's no. it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Alf. Hey, thanks for that uh, that Dark Souls three preview, man. <laughs> hype, 
that, that, that shit. Man, dude, you just hyped it up big time. I'm telling I, you. I, I, like, hope, I hope so. I hope I that the, like, the viewers like will all listen and be like, you know what? Maybe I'll give the game a chance. I mean, the game is incredible. It is. It it, it sounds like it. Yeah. I just want to see how 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 visually impressive that game looks. Insane. Yeah. Insane. Doesn't seem to be as niche as uh, some people made it out to be, though. No, no, no. Nah, not at all. Yeah. I like. I love that. It, I love that it's growing and finding bigger audiences. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Uh, you know what's uh, you know what's interesting about that uh, Nielsen um, survey that uh, Z Huge, <coughs> excuse me, tweeted out. Um, <coughs> and Eric and, and uh, Digital. I don't know if you guys follow Z Huge, but uh, if you don't, you should. He he puts together some um, some great information. In terms oh, yeah, of like, I do. Oh, you do, yeah, with industry yeah. trends. Um, and he's actually been a, a guest on the. Super Deformed Gamecast, um, I think uh, twice, two uh, times, I think. Two, two or three times, yeah. Yeah, I know he's done some NPD stuff, and he, he's gone over some numbers and stuff, but um, you know what I thought was interesting about his um, his tweet was that um, there was a game that was missing from that list, Quantum Break. I was kind of surprised. Just the numbers, the sheer numbers of people, like, Looking forward to that game, or you know, it's a small amount. I th- I think, I mean, there's a lot of Xbox One gamers out there that are not, it, you don't probably don't even know about that game. Mm. I mean, I work with a bunch of people. Uh, you know, I've worked with a bunch of people that have had Xbox Ones, and none of them mentioned you know anything by Remedy when they first started showing Quantum yeah. Break. I was like, you guys looking forward to that? And they're like, well, what games did they make? I was like, Alan Wake. Oh boy, yeah. The original oh. Max Payne, Max Payne Two, and they're like, they're like. N- what are those, you know? So what, you know, yeah, what's Max Payne? <laughs> they're, they're they're the Call of Duty crowd, the you know Madden crowd, FIFA crowd. They don't know about these games. You know? Yeah, they're the, they're real casual. Yeah. yeah, and and I know that game's going to be amazing too because Remedy has yet to disappoint. Um, no, they don't make no, bad games. No, no, not at all, man. Yeah. So who's picking up Quantum Break here uh, on Tuesday? Uh, I am. Raise my hand. You can't see my hand, but I'm getting that on the PC. You got you got to rate. You mean your Paul? I'm at Paul, yeah. Paul. <laughs> I've got it preloaded. Nice. Yeah. So I'm, I'm getting, ready to go. I'm my getting PC f- is poop. <laughs> <laughs> so my PC is poop. <laughs> your PC is poop. Yeah. Yeah. I am going. You're talking it's about the unbooty the window game. store. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, they they need to unbooty the window store. It's terrible, man. I I, it I, terrible. I haven't been keeping up with it. They have any issues with uh, Killer Instinct? That launched today, actually, on the Windows uh, store. Smooth. smooth, incredibly smooth. I've heard actually wow. nothing but good things for Killer Instinct, as opposed to Gears of War Ultimate. Yeah, there which, were some which, issues with Gears of War Ultimate. But for me, Gears of War Ultimate ran perfectly fine on the mm-hmm. day it was released. But again, I am the the one percent there that everything, all the stars aligned, and my computer didn't explode. Yeah, Al. So do you have a? Uh, so you have a nice gaming rig? Yeah, I was actually fortunate enough to uh, to build one uh, last fall. Nice. What do you have? Uh, I got a 980 Ti and a 6700 K, both overclocked. Mm. Ooh, 32 yeah. gigs of RAM. Uh, I got M2 solid state drives in it. This thing loads yeah. like super quick. I wasn't messing around. And you know what? People are gonna be angry at me. All I'm using it for is gaming. That is it. Dude, and, that's, and the internet. What else would you use it for? Yeah, what else people, would you people, use people, people are like, well, aren't you, aren't, why don't you use it for developing or web development and stuff like that? And I'm like, I don't. I'm not interested in that shit. I just want to like load games, that, like play 4K games, you know? Yeah. Like my PC I built in 2011. I like right now I have a 2600K overclocked to, and I'm using two GTX 580s. Yeah, nice. I think 580s. I had 580s too before yeah. I went to the 980. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. You guys, cards, man. you guys have kind of lost me now with all the technical talk. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a gamer, so well, I don't, you know. 580s were like the cream of the crop back in like 2011, so they're yeah. kind of old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They still, you know, they still, they still put in work, so. Yeah, you know what, guys? I, I would love to build a, a like a badass gaming rig. Um,. But I just, yeah, the wife would fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her it's for but, research purposes. <laughs> yeah. It's for what you say, research purposes. Yeah, just. <laughs> yeah. yeah, tell her I'm I'm trying to yeah I'm I'm trying to figure out the, uh, how to create hyperspace travel with for NASA, and I need uh, you know a fucking gaming rig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I I I would you know 
I did do a little gaming on PC, like back in the days with um, with Unreal. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, and the original uh, Wolfenstein when that came out. And, um, yeah, so, but uh, it's been years. I just, you know, uh, I went console because you know, I just like the convenience of it. But one day, one day I'd like to get it. Uh, so what do you, so are you running like like what resolution and, and things are you running your games at Al? Uh, mostly 14 uh, 1440p mm-hmm. uh, that's what my monitor resolution is um, but I can I can output to 4k like on my TV um, I, I, I downsample a lot though so I'll run stuff at 5k or 4k and just play it at 1080 which is basically you're making the image super clear and then shrinking it back down it sounds it sounds a lot Harder than it actually is to do. It's literally two button clicks now because <laughs> computers are super smart, and I'm not that technic- technically savvy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what? I, I I might need a chat mod, man. I say I see what's going on. I don't know what's going, going on. Like, I don't. Yeah, I don't even know who this guy is. Uh, you can kick him out. You're the uh, you're yeah, the admin, I'll, right? I'll have to kick, yeah, I'll have to kick him out. I mean, we're about to wrap up too, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I mean, really, seriously, guy. Ethan Hoff, you're uh, yeah. you're a little ridiculous right now. Yeah, that's uh, not cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, and and John's like, what? What the hell just happened? <laughs> John, I don't know who this guy is. I, I yeah, I don't know. Just ignore. He's just trolling. Just ignore him. Yeah, yeah. just put him on. If you're a mod, just put him on uh, timeout or kick him out or whatever. Yeah. Well, uh, well, we're gonna wrap up anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, but uh, yeah. Um, all right, gentlemen. Well, hey, that's um, you know that's that's uh, that's a wrap. And um, hey, I want to thank you, Al, for for joining us tonight, man. It was a pleasure hey. having you on, man. Thanks. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the opportunity again. I'm very yep. honored. Absolutely, man. And we'll have to uh, definitely get you back on awesome. uh, sometime again soon, man. And uh, hey, again to the viewers, uh, definitely check out the Super Deformed Gamecast. Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Great podcast. You know, uh, you guys have what? I think there's a panel of seven. You yeah, guys yeah, have? yeah. Seven, seven regular guys and a moderator cat. <laughs> and a moderator cat, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I love it. You guys just talk games and shoot the shit, and uh, it's cool because you guys do some. Um, you guys cover like all, you know, um, all consoles and all plat, well, all platforms really. Yeah. Um, you know, we game consoles, yeah. PC, handheld. Um, which I think is awesome. So, yeah, yeah. I think it's. Uh, we got it's, no time for fanboyism. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. None of us do. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, hey, Ken, man. Hey, thanks for coming back again, Ken. It's <laughs> fun having you on, man. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely, man. Absolutely, we we'll have to get you back on again, and um, you know, yeah, man, it's been great talking to all you guys tonight. Yeah. So. Um, and uh, Eric, man, as always, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. No, no problem, man. It's always an honor, always a pleasure. Yeah, no, no, definitely, man, definitely. Uh, you know, it's an honor to have you on, and uh, you know, I can truly say, man, this this podcast wouldn't be where it is today, uh, we, you know, without you know your help and and joining us here on Tuesday nights, man. So thank you again, man. Oh, no problem, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, and definitely check out uh, EXL Gaming. Um, the links are posted in the. Uh, description below, uh, as well as uh, the link to Super Deformed Gamecast. But just definitely check out EXL Gaming. Um, I actually go there now uh, f- to get my gaming news, Eric. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah, because you guys, up. you guys are a nice alternative to uh, mainstream media. You know, I like to get um, just read the news. You know, kind of open mm-hmm. up the paper. You know, drink my cup of coffee. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Smoke a stogie, maybe if I'm lucky. You know, if I have time to do so, and and read a little EXL, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> I, encourage, I encourage others to do so. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. So I, I hope you guys review um, Dark Souls 3, man. Maybe we'll put Ken on that one. Oh, nice. I'm fairly sure that we'll, we'll have a review. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Eric, what, what, what reviews do you guys have coming up? Can you can you talk about some of the stuff you're working on? Uh, not at the moment. Okay. Uh, but hopefully I have something to share. Pretty soon. Cool. Cool. All right. Uh, hey, everyone in the live chat, thank you for stopping in and joining us live. Great conversations going on in the live chat this evening, as always, and except for that uh, idiot troll who, who hopped in there and, <laughs> and said some ridiculous things. Um, but, yeah, big thank you to everyone. 
uh, in the live chat. Uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to join us tonight. To the viewers who are watching us, thank you again. And to those who are going to watch us later on, a big thank you. Remember to give us a like and subscribe. Um, you know, we, we love subs here. And yeah, not subs the food, but I like those too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they just they just, <laughs> they just opened a Jersey Mike's by my house. That shit is so good. Um, <laughs> um, so yeah, we like subs. And hey, we're, we're here every Tuesday night at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, um, gentlemen, thank you again. And no um, thank you. Man. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, remember, gamers, to game on, but more importantly, have fun doing so. Because that's what it's about. It's about fun. That's it. It's about fun with your plastic boxes. <laughs> <laughs> with wires in them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, have a good evening. We, we'll catch you soon. Peace.